Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ryan, and thanks for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what it does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, The Prophecy 3 Tarot, which should be with you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Interesting, okay. Oh my goodness, Pisces, what is this energy? Um, this is interesting. I'm a little curious myself as to where this one's going. One moment. That is so interesting. One more. Goodness gracious. Um, okay, th this is interesting. As I'm going to repeat multiple times in this reading, they're showing me right away. 100%, they are happy, they are fulfilled, they are content. At the same time, there definitely is these new strong emotions and feelings of love. Now, whatever this energy is, um, strong emotions and feelings of love, and they are, it's like they're, they're wanting to make it known that they are adamant. It's almost like someone pounding on the desk or pounding on the table, like they are adamant about how they feel. At the same time, it's like this energy of adamant. It's like, okay, they're waiting around. And what's interesting about this energy, Pisces, is waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. I don't know what that's about. It's a whole lot of waiting. It's a whole lot of not much is going on. Um, they're, they're showing me it's kind of like they are who they are. They've done what they've done. They've accomplished what they've accomplished. They're sitting in some type of position of status but yet it's kind of like um, someone who feels how they feel, they're remaining hopeful, they're kind of daydreamy, kind of like, wow, this it's an energy of just sitting with their emotions and feelings and kind of daydreaming here. It's an energy of as things are progressing and moving forward and as they're just kind of staying put and waiting, it's an energy of um, goodness gracious. Hoping for the best, literally. Hoping for the best. Hoping for something to happen. Something to change. Something to kind of happen, literally. It's like happen. It's like, um, you know, someone that sits there and kind of stares out the window and waits for life to kind of take place. I don't know. Waiting for something. Now, even though there's such a hopeful energy here, it almost seems and feels like they, it's like, do they communicate? Do they say something? Do they not? Were they waiting on wanting to communicate? Were they waiting on wanting to say something? Were they like, what is, what's going on? Because they're showing me that, They've waited around so long that they've just somehow turned into a skeleton. Normally I see this for, I believe, Libra's energy. Um, like someone who's just sitting there waiting, 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 waiting. It's like fingers crossed I, for something, maybe someone, maybe for you, I don't know. But even though there's this energy of like having to accept whatever's going on regarding the situation, they're kind of like, and I still don't have full clarity and I still don't have all the answers. And I'm like, okay, well then, like, I don't understand this. Where is this going to go? So let's see. And they're saying I don't have all the answers. They're not understanding something here. Clearly, there you are, Pisces, but... So you show up. Okay. 
Goodness gracious. I don't understand this. There could be parental figures and children and kids involved in this somehow. Um, I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. There's a whole lot of not, not, there's a whole lot of not a lot going on, not a lot happening. They're, they're kind of showing me this energy of just stay positive, just stay positive, just stay positive, just stay positive. Whether this is someone in your friend group, friend circle, I don't know. I don't know what the dynamic is between the two of you. The only situation this could be is like a friend, a social setting. Um, like, I don't know the full truth. I don't have all the answers. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just remain positive. I'm actually more than happy and fulfilled. Um, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. At the same time, they show me this energy of like, you know, drink responsibly because I do see addictions in this. Um, uh, geez. To be specific, sexual addictions. I have to throw that out there. They're showing me they, they're not, when, it, it's interesting because overall not having the answers or not having full clarity, it, it, they're, they're kind of showing me like, oh, I'm having a good time. I'm living life on the edge. I'm enjoying myself. At the same time, emotionally and mentally speaking, they're not in, how do I say this in such a way? They're not in full control of themselves emotionally and, and mentally speaking. They're, they're not in full control of themselves. Um, unfortunately, what I'm looking at is they're running themselves into a wall. I feel like they're realizing that may, they may just need to let you go, but unfortunately they're battling the fixation, the obsession, the addiction, um, and they're being slightly manipulative in the situation. At the same time, it's like they, they are somehow showing me that they are heartbroken over you. And even as time is progressing and moving forward, and this is what's very fascinating is whatever this that they are feeling and going through about and over you, they're supposed to be going through this. This is the equivalent of, I have an addiction, I have a problem, my life is miserable, it's falling apart all around me, and life being like, yep, you're on the right path. And that's because it's kind of like, you know, it's a situation of, it's the hard knock life. You need some sort of extreme situation or circumstances to get you to kind of like break through your own ego shell in order to see what you are doing, what you're putting yourself through, and what you're not doing. That they're showing me, Pisces, that you, your energy shows up. And they're kind of like, the more time that passes on, the more uncertainty that they have as to what to do. And so they go right back into their emotions and their feels. And they're kind of like, well, once again, Pisces, I guess I'll just sit here and wait. I don't know what's going on. Um, what the dynamic, like I said, is between the two of you. But it's like someone who's just waiting around for you um claiming that they're happy claiming that they're living the good life and then in actuality it's like no they're possibly masking something so of course if you are dealing with anyone you could be dealing with a fire sign an air sign a water sign or an earth sign goodbye